Well, it's been a good run, Dell. I've had this XPS 15 for a bit over a year, and honestly, it's been fantastic the whole time. But sometimes you gotta change it up. Oh. To the new XPS 15. It's the same thing, but a little bit faster, and that's a good enough reason for me. <laughs> so I guess, do we just get into it, David? Yeah, let's just, do it. Yeah, just unbox it. Here we go. Brand new XPS 15. What a fancy box. All right. Oh, David. Which one's the new one? <laughs> Yeah, it's not dented. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the exact same laptop. Uh, I.O. is completely unchanged. I have found it really annoying only having Thunderbolt and Type-C. I do really wish there was a Type-A, although the full-size SD card reader, I actually use a lot. I absolutely love it and want it on all of my laptops. Every little thing is everything. What does that mean? Yeah, every little thing is everything, sure. Here's our power adapter. Um, yep, that appears to be exactly the same as the last one. Still 130 watts. This is an awesome addition. I don't know if this came in the last one. I definitely didn't get it. But we have just full-size HDMI and a Type-A port so that you don't get, well, screwed when you buy this thing and realize that you don't have a dongle. <laughs> and here we have another one. This one's marked Brandon Lee because Brandon is lucky and happened to be standing there when I was asked by our Dell rep if anyone wanted an XPS 17. So you got a new work laptop, Brandon, uh, good job. Oh my God, this is heavy. I, yep, I remember why I don't like the XPS 17. It is an awesome laptop that is very powerful, but it's just, it's that little bit heavier where you want to actually need the power, and I don't need the power that this thing has. Uh, let's put the XPS 17 away for a bit and talk about the 15. All right, this is the actual reason that I'm taking the time to switch computers, because like, this right here is essentially the same laptop, but with marginally faster insides. The thing that, oh my God, Jake, your car sounds ridiculous. Is that a problem? Yeah. Why I'm switching over is because this is a proper production version that has a trackpad that is, well, what the trackpad should be like. <laughs> My old XPS is a pre-production version that has a slightly wonky trackpad. I don't know if you're gonna be able to even see this, David. If I kind of like angle it like this, can you see just the tiny bit that it goes in there? Yeah, it's not clicking. Yeah, so that's not clicking and it's just moving down. It's just, well, it's a problem that these laptops had at first and maybe still occasionally have. Basically, if you get an XPS that has like a weird floppy trackpad, you contact Dell and are like, hey, give me one that's not broken. So the upgrades that we have here are very marginal. So this one right here has an i7-11800H from the i7 10875H. They're both eight cores, 16 threads, um, more than fast enough for a laptop like this, and not quite as fast as the i9 version that is available, but in almost every task, just as fast, because like the power and thermal constraints in this guy is going to be your problem instead of like i9 versus i7. I did upgrade to 32 gigabytes of RAM from just 16. And we have a one terabyte SSD instead of half a gigabyte. The biggest difference though, again, is the 30, oh, it's a 3050 Ti GPU, as opposed to the 1650 Ti. Apparently it's 11% faster. So yeah, if you have the old version, don't buy the new version. It's literally the same thing, just 10% maybe faster. So yeah, don't sweat it. <laughs> now, what Dell really wanted me to show off here is their new OLED screen. That's the one thing that the old version did not have and the new version has, and I did not get it because I'm legitimately going to be using this computer all the time. 
and I don't want the OLED option. <laughs> um, the problem is that a lot of OLED screens that I've seen before have this like weird graininess where you can kind of see the sub pixels and especially when you have a digitizer on front for the touch screen, it'll just be kind of grainy and weird, especially when you're looking at an all white screen. And so when 90% of what I plan on doing with this laptop is being in Word writing scripts, having an all white thing look bad is not going to be great. We have the 4K touch screen. It is one of the best displays that you can get on a laptop, if not the best. So we need to go into here. It's called Dell Premier Color. All that we do in here is we come into, I think it's advanced color setup. Yes. From the factory, it comes with the vibrant color preset, which basically just takes all your colors and makes them more colors, if that makes sense. It's real best buy TV mode kind of crap. Like it, it looks terrible unless you don't know what photos look like. And then you're like, oh my God, colors. Is there a less asshole -ish way that I can say that, David? Absolutely not. Anyway, we can just take that right here and click on photo Adobe RGB and boom. It now looks pretty much the same, except the colors are now accurate. How does it sound? We'll get into the sound in a bit. We're gonna do a crybrave, David, but we're gonna look at the 17 first. But before that, our sponsor, Bitdefender. Thanks to Bitdefender for sponsoring today's video. We all love browsing the internet, but Bitdefender Total Security helps make it safer. It works great with Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS devices, and protects you against network threats, phishing, ransomware, unauthorized webcam access, and more. With Total Security's focus on protection, performance, and privacy, you get both security and functionality. It's the awarded outstanding security product by AV Comparatives and PC Mag Reader's Choice Award. Protect yourself today by checking out Bic Defender and get a 120 day trial in the link in the video description. So let's put this guy away. Actually, I'm gonna use it for just a tiny bit first. There's two ways that you can get into this computer and both of them are pretty good. So we have Windows Hello Facial Recognition up here. Actually, I'll just show you on my laptop since I already have it set up. We don't need to <laughs> bother with it. But it's really great that they have the touch sensor right here in the power button. So you can use your fingerprint to get in or the facial ID. So we'll just use my face to get in. Awesome. If you're wearing a mask, you can use the touch print and it's great. The keyboard and the trackpad are just so good. It's the reason that you buy this thing for sure. So I am typing a thing here. And yeah, it's exactly the same keyboard that I had before. Uh, a plus Dell, good job. <laughs> and yeah, the trackpad, it's absolutely massive. Dell have just maximized the size of this thing. And move on to the XPS 17. So this right here, if you're looking for a laptop, I don't know that I'd recommend it because it's heavy as frig. Um, <laughs> if you're looking for a desktop that you can easily put in your bag, this right here might be a really good option. Like if you're going out and doing actual video editing in the field, this right here will do it. So let's take a look at the specs of this guy. So this one also has an i7-11800H. Although it's the same CPU, I would expect it to perform a little bit better in this guy because the 17 gets a wicked full vapor chamber cooler on the bottom as opposed to the heat pipe solution on the 15. We also have 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte SSD and an RTX 3060. So that's the really big difference between these two. If you want a game, you get this one right here. Actually, before we do the audio test, we need to do something very quick. So uh, yes, Max Audio Pro by Waves. We go into this program right here. Now, so this does a bunch of cool things like changing the audio based on where you're looking for better stereo surround. It adds an EQ. It's terrible. It's hot garbage. It makes everything just have like weird reverb to it, especially when you put on headphones. So it just goes. Goodbye. I don't want to see you again. Uninstall. <laughs> oh, are you excited, David? Yeah. For what? We're gonna get to do the first of many crab raves on this laptop. <laughs> So yes, 
all three screens unsurprisingly look exactly the same. Let's switch to the new one. I think it might be better. No way. That's way louder. Yeah, they're at the same volume. They're both at max. This is way louder. Wow, that's way better. Dell, you didn't tell me this. New 15 to new 17. What? Why? Okay, uh, good job, Dell. I have no clue what you did. And like, we know for sure it's not an EQ or anything because I literally just uninstalled the program that has the EQ stuff in it. So like, also, why is your 17 worse? I'm flabbergasted. Sure, so there's a bonus. That also gets to why I am still using the XPS 15. It's the benchmark for Windows laptops. That's why I use it every single day because <laughs> I need to benchmark the other laptops and none of them are as good yet. But like HP and Lenovo, please give me a new benchmark laptop. It's been a year, you're not even close. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess should we get Brandon over like we have his new laptop here. Should we get his thoughts? Brandon, you hear it? Hey, Brandon. Do you want to say something to the people? Is this the 15 inch? 17. What? <laughs> okay, I didn't even know I was getting a 17 inch. I forgot what I looked at when I looked at the specs. I mean, I'm upgrading from this like Korean only <laughs> LG gram, but it's not a gram. So this thing is not that amazing, but I don't do anything that intensive. This is a really big upgrade. Alex, I am so excited. So thank you, Alex. Right. I'm gonna just take this now. Yep. Yeah, I guess that's that's it. Hopefully Dell doesn't want this one back because I know that Andy wants to use it. Uh, I guess we'll find out after this video. And yeah, I hope you guys have just a fantastic old day. Um, hit like, get subscribed. I'm gonna go and eat a sweet potato puree. Maybe just treat yourself to something that tastes good. Treat yourself. Yeah. I made a tasty dinner last night and I'm gonna enjoy it for lunch. Treat yourself.